Hello everyone, welcome to Lone Cowboy Adventures. I got a package delivered last week, in fact, and I ordered an upgrade for the bike. I ordered rear suspension, rear shocks from Suspension Technologies. Now, if you all been following me in the channel very long, you know that you know, I'm just starting out um, kind of wrenching on the bike, doing my own maintenance. And this is not my very first Harley Davidson. I had a 20, uh, I had a 2018 Road Glide and I rode it 20,000 miles and I got to 20,000 miles, I traded it up for this 2020 Road Glide Limited, and we have 60,000 miles. We just turned 60,000 miles on this bike. In the last couple times that Miss Linda has been on the back, it's just, whenever I hit a bump, it's just, it's, it's tearing her up. So, I have seen uh, another channel, uh, Bogey Biker, that uh, put suspension technology shocks on his Road Glide. And as far as I know, he doesn't have any complaints. So we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna do an install. I'm gonna do a ride. And then I'll take you into the website and uh, show you exactly how Suspension Technologies Mike deals with customer service and how you order and fine tunes the shocks for your riding style. So let's get busy and we will uh, we'll unbox this. Okay. Yeah, I covered up my address. If you all want to send me an email or send something in, in the snail mail, I do have a P.O. box listed in the channel. Uh, let's see here. That yeah, doesn't look too bad. Very well packaged or taped up anyway. And when I ordered these shocks, the next day I actually called Suspension Technologies and Mike, the owner, actually answered the phone. And he said, yeah, he says, I just put your order out to be shipped and we're just waiting on the UPS to show up. Oh, wow, those are nice. Very nice. Holy cow. <laughs> I almost don't want to put them on. <laughs> so here they are. And, wow, that's cool. Holds them together. I'll have to, I'll have to save that. It's almost, it almost could double as a, as a koozie, what do you think? So. So yeah, there they are, beautiful. And they come with a thank you card. They're in Largo, Florida, suspensiontechnologies.com. And they have a limited lifetime warranty. I usually throw paperwork in my toolbox of anything that I purchase. That way I can actually kind of find it because, you know guys, uh, when you have a lady friend and uh, things get moved around, you know, or, or whatever, and I end up asking her, hey, where's this? Oh yeah, I know where that is. You put it here. No, I didn't put it there, so. Well, I guess we will uh, get the bike up on the lift because there's one other thing I want to show you guys and uh, we'll get these installed. So 
yeah very cool making you guys nervous, eh? Hey? There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> yeah, I probably ought to move stuff out of the way so I don't step on it. So, well, I guess we gotta take the saddlebags off now. Set that over there out of the way. So yeah, here's the uh, here's the stock shocks, of course, and this job doesn't look too hard. So we'll get these off, and we'll get the other ones on. I did get a new cover for the water pump, and. It's still there, so I don't have any complaints about that. <laughs> I'll try and pin that video right here somewhere for you about the water pump. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm actually more pleased with myself that I kind of figured it out with a little bit of help of uh, YouTube. And the bike's dirty. Maybe I'll uh, clean it up a little bit. All right, I think. There we go. There's the bottom bolt. And the top bolt. Mike said when I uh, put the new shocks on that I need to use a little bit of blue Loctite on these threads, uh, which I believe I do have. So we'll get the new shocks on. All right, well, I had to run up to the store, part store and get some uh, blue thread lock. see here see if I got to cut the end yeah I think I got to cut the end all right there we go okay just a tad there we go Almost need two hands. So, here's the top bolt. And I gotta let the bike down just a little bit more.
or let's see if we can do this. There we go. I think we're there. Yep, I gotta raise it up just a tad now. Yeah, you gotta be real careful not to cross thread, which they are not. So we got this one on, now we're gonna do the other side, so. And I believe they have to be torqued at 65 foot-pounds. So we'll get the other one on, then we'll torque them. Oh boy. Maybe that'll relieve a little pressure. I don't know, we'll find out. What do y'all think? There we go. There it is. There's the other one. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> I don't know if you can see all that oil on that shock, but I'd say she's all blowed out. There we go. Perfect. All right, now, there we go. See if I did something right. There it is, 65 foot pounds. Well, we got the shocks installed and uh, I'm gonna take my, my, my hitch off because uh, it's not gonna be needed for a little while. And I'll take it for a ride and see how it feels and then come back and, and uh, we will Jump in the studio for a minute and I'll show you their website. The, and I've got to move all this out of the way to get the bike out because my overhead door is, uh, is kind of screwed up. So <laughs> I don't really want to tackle that today, but I've got this other door that's non-insulated that's easy to open and close. So. I've got to clean this mess up a little bit and find a spot for it and uh, we'll go for a ride. All right, everybody. 
whoops I might have forgot my wallet yeah it's a good thing I went back and got my wallet so we're gonna go take a ride and just wow just that first turn I totally noticed the difference just the turn out of my driveway now right down here the road from my house it's rough oh my gosh total difference so oh wow right up here some pretty good bumps but It's a big difference. Yeah, I, to I totally noticed a big difference. Those stock shocks were terrible. So. A lot smoother in the bumps. Just change positions. So we'll see you here in a little bit in the studio. Totally changed the ride. sure was a lot nicer but uh, I haven't made any adjustments yet I got back here to the house and we actually had a chicken on the smoker so I uh, had to pull that off and get something in my belly so 
let's go to the uh, let's go to the website here real quick. This is how easy it is to get on sus suspension technologies and order a pair of shocks for your Harley Davidson or your Indian. So I ordered. Now well, let's see here. Rear shocks for my Harley Davidson. And they have several different choices. They have touring shocks, performance series, uh, shocks for your Dyna, uh, Scout, Indian Scout, Harley Davidson Sportster. So uh, what I did was, I think it was the touring shocks that I ordered. And all you have to do is get on that line and um, put in your year and model, your how much uh, your total load is, or you know stuff like that. Um, Eighty percent of your riding is what, and you hit select on a boulevard interstate riding. Uh, what is your height and your weight? Do you have a passenger? Eighty cent. 80% of the time, uh, you select yes or no. Uh, your passenger's approximate weight and your gear weight, and they will fine tune your, sh your shocks and get them to you. <clears throat> so, and I actually ordered them and called down there the next day and talked to actually, actually talked to Mike. And he said, yeah, I've got the order. And he says, they're actually being shipped right now as we speak. So, uh, man, I was just thrilled. I've had the package for over a week, and I've been excited to get them, get them on the bike because uh, it, uh, it, it, I noticed a difference when I even pulled out of the driveway. So. Go check them out, and uh, if you're in the market for a pair of shocks, if you if you still have a pair of uh, uh, Harley Davidson stock shocks, and you've got quite a few miles like I did, you're gonna you're gonna be very surprised. So, anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, say hi to a stranger. Thank a veteran and check out uh, sus suspension technologies. So we'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Say bye.